So we have already installed Visual Studio on Windows and on Mac. If you're using that operating system, it is time for us to create a new project. Now, creating a project on Windows for Xamarin Forms is a bit different than doing it from a Mac. So let me explain how to do that here on Windows. I have here Visual Studio opened. And notice that immediately you have the new project section where you can select one of the most used templates or simply hit on create a new project. You can always, if for some reason you don't see this start page, go to file, select new and select project. So let's go ahead and do so. From this window is from where you will be able to find the cross platform option. And here it is very straightforward you actually only see one option, the mobile app for Xamarin Forms. Here, all you have to do is set some name. Let's call this contacts. You can optionally initialize a Git repository, create a directory for the solution, maybe name a different location where this project is going to be created. Let's just go ahead and click on OK for now. And here, is the interesting part. This is where creating this is slightly different than doing it from Mac. Here is where you would have to select the template. Just like on Mac, you will be able to see master detail and tapped options. And just like on Mac, we're going to stick to a blank template. Now in here, you also have the ability to select whether you're going to use .NET Standard or Share Project. Again, we're going to be selecting .NET Standard. However, in here you have a bit of more control. You can select whether to create an Android or an iOS application. Both should be selected. Now, in addition, because when installing my Visual Studio, I installed the Windows tools, I have Windows listed in here. Yes, if you use Xamarin Forms, you cannot only create for Android and iOS, you can also create for Windows. I am not going to leave this selected because I am not going to be creating any Windows application. We're going to focus on Android and iOS. And that's it. We can now just simply click on OK and three projects are going to be created, just like on Mac. We're going to have the iOS project, the Android project, and the shared project in the form of a .NET standard project. After a few seconds, then you are going to see here the solution. Just like on Mac, a solution is going to be created. Again, there are some differences between Mac and Windows in the menus, in the templates, but eventually this is the same Xamarin Forms project you're going to see exactly the same. And it is going to be exactly the same from now on. I will add uh, maybe a few seconds on how to do something on Windows if it is different than doing it on Mac. Apart from that, everything is going to be exactly the same. You may see that the templates create a slightly different thing here and there but eventually we see the exact same thing. Now, before moving forward, I do want to mention that here on the SAML file, by default, you are not going to see any designer as you do on Mac. In the next lecture, we're going to be focused on creating new controls. On Mac, you're going to see the designer immediately. Here on Windows, you will have to navigate over to the bottom right corner of this part of the window where we have the SAML file and click on this little double arrow button that says expand pane. If you do so, here you will be able to see the designer and you will also have the ability to see it for Android and for iOS. Now, doing so for iOS is going to be slightly more complicated than on Mac. On Mac, it works immediately. 
In the section about testing, we're going to talk about how we are going to be able to see this. For now, just rest assured that whatever you see on Android is going to be exactly the same on iOS. So this is how you see the designer. And in fact, you have a bit more control here on Visual Studio 2017 on Windows. You have this small icon, uh, this button that allows you to change from having the designer on the left to the right. And you have some options in here to change from a vertical to a horizontal split. This may not be that good unless you have a vertical setup, your vertical monitor, but it is here. Now that you have created the project either on Windows or on Mac, let's jump over to the next lecture and start adding some controls.